It feels it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not nice to be relegated, especially in the group of like Hungary, especially after the performance we had against them. It's, it's not looking great, but it's got to improve from now, hasn't it? Really, it has to. What tactics? I don't think he knows what his best eleven are. I don't. I don't think the nation has the trust in them anymore, especially after the, the four performances beforehand. It's all been pretty flat, pretty lethargic. I'm just hoping tonight we see a difference, to be honest. I don't know. I mean, it's some decisions. It's, it's always playing the same, same players all the time. I mean, Calvin Phillips, he's a good player, but him and Declan Rice in the two-man midfield is quite negative. I, why not play Jude Bellingham on occasions, which hopefully he should start tonight. But I don't know. I, I, I don't think he knows pretty much what he's doing in the regard that he's always playing the right back and left back. He's taking all like he's I think in the squad he's got four defenders, uh, sorry, four right backs. So I don't know, I think he's too biased towards too many players as well. Yeah, um, need a need a win today and a, a, a positive performance as well in going into the World Cup. So um, yeah, next two games are quite massive for the squad to be honest. I don't think so. I think Gav's doing a great job to be honest. Um, obviously, the, the last performance in the Nations League was not very good at all. But I think a couple of positive results going into the World Cup. I think I think we'll be fine. I'm excited. Uh, we're lucky enough to be going to the World Cup. So. Um, um, yeah, we're really excited, Willow. Yeah. Um, we're going to win the World Cup this year. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, um, nah, hopefully. Um, I, think, I think they'll do well this year. I think, uh, I think we'll at least get to the semis. And anything can happen from there. The squad's good enough. It's just getting the, the right balance uh, with, with the squad. Um, yeah, they're not just friendly. So I don't think anymore now with Euro 24 like coming into to play as well. So hopefully we'll get some points today and Monday against Germany. No, I'm not particularly confident. Hopefully we'll get a result, um, particularly given a Euro final, but I'm not particularly confident. Um, hopefully maybe a draw would be a result, to be honest, uh, tonight after we've played recently. Um, it's not looking great. Uh, hopefully we'll get some results in today to give the boys some confidence before we go into the World Cup. Um, and probably the last squad sort of we'll see before the World Cup, but we'll see. Um, I'm not as confident as we were going into the Euros, but then nobody thought we'd get that far, so we'll see. Try some different players, shake it up, sort of instead of sticking with what we know and what worked before. I think we we'll definitely need to shake the formations up and maybe give some faith in the younger players, sort of instead of the regular starters that have done us before, maybe give somebody else a chance and it might boost the team and shake everything up a bit. Yeah. I'm not I'm not so sure. I think maybe the quarterfinals, possibly the semis, I'm not confident at all. If you'd have asked me after the Euros, I'd have been more confident, but this now, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure after the way we've played recently, yeah. Um, well, it, England, England against Italy is always going to be a massive game. You know, we still have the Euro final hanging over us, losing on penalties. But this is about, I think, November going to the World Cup. So we, we've got to be using the players that are on the fringe to see if you're going to take them or not, I think. But still try and win the game. I guess it's, it's a delicate balance. I think you've got to try and make sure we stay in this group, but it's going to be a tough ask. Since so we're already three points from off it with uh, only two games to go anyway so I'd, I'd try and stick with players he knows probably has to be fair yeah yeah the, the, through the nation like they got behind them when we got to the Euro final maybe but the hardcore who come home and away and are going out to Qatar I think it's, that's the bigger picture we, yeah we want to put on good performance and stay in the group but you, you them fringe players like Bellingham if he gets a chance today or because Phillips might not be making it. You, you need players like that that are going to step up and tonight tonight. It is for me. Definitely is for me. Well, you've got to be careful what you wish for. He, he's, he's got us to a World Cup semi-final. He's got us to a Euro final. He's probably our most successful manager apart from Mr. Alf Ramsey. So he, you've got to give him the shot at going to, going to the World Cup, I believe. And I, I think a bit like some of the players like, say, Harry Maguire, he's never let England down poor for Man United but never let England down I think you've got to stick with the people that you trust and that Hitford in goal prime example he's going to be our number one going to the World Cup because he's always performed when, when he puts a three line shirt on try and be a bit less defensive I think yeah and just be try and go out as we're warring in the, in the uh, Euros just to start with just be a bit braver you know Croatia semi-final 1-0 up almost tried to win 1-0 same with Italy in the final 1-0 up we had so much firepower on the bench in both them games. We've just got to use it. We've just got to punish teams. We've got to get that second goal.